Start from the one modal verb that is more commonly used, that is very, very, very often used. And how do you think what modal verb it is? Yes, it is can. Can. We use can to express ability to do something in the present tense. For example, I can speak English. I can speak English. It's in the present tense. Great. The second. We use can to express permission to do something in the present. For example, can I go to the cinema? Can I go to the cinema? We are asking our mother or father or boyfriend, if we can go to the cinema, is it permission? The third one is request. For example, can you wait a moment, please? Can you wait a moment, please? We are asking someone. Yeah. The fourth one is offer. I can lend you my car till tomorrow. I can lend you my car till tomorrow. The fifth one is suggestion. Can we visit grandma at the weekend? Can we visit grandma at the weekend? Can we visit grandma at the weekend? We are asking, we are suggesting. Yep, great. Right. So the sixth one is possibility. It can get very hot in Arizona. It can get very hot in Arizona. Yes, it's a possibility. We do not know exactly if it is hot or if it is cold. We just express a possibility that it can get hot in Arizona. That's it. And now, uh, let's talk about the second modal verb. Let's talk about could. So, we use could to express ability to do something in the past. For example, I could speak English. I could speak English. In the past, I spoke English. I could speak English in the past, but now I can't. The second is permission to do something in the past. For example, I could go to the cinema. I could go to the cinema. I could go to the cinema. Polite question. We use could when we want to be polite and when we are asking for something. It is very often used, so just try to remember if you want to be polite uh, and if you want somebody to ask for something, then start your question with could. Then you will look very, very Polite. For example, could I go to the cinema, please? Could I go to the cinema, please? The next one is polite request. Could you wait a moment, please? Could you wait a moment, please? Again, polite request. Don't forget. 
forget to use all the time could when asking for something or when requesting, guys. The next is polite offer. For example, I could lend you my car till tomorrow. I could lend you my car till tomorrow. Great. And the last one about could, about the usage of the could, is possibility. For example, it could get very hot in Montana. It could get very hot in Montana. Great, guys. It was could. And now let us talk about the next one. May again, as all modal verbs expresses, possibility. For example, it may rain today. It may rain today. But we are not sure if it is going to rain or not. But we have black clouds, dark clouds, and we think that it may rain today. Why not? The second is permission to do something in the present. For example, may I go to the cinema? May I go to the cinema? Great. Polite suggestion. May I help you? May I help you? Great, guys. So that was about may. And now let us look uh, at another form of may. So in its past form, and it is, how do you think? Yeah, great. And it is might. Might. So we use might to express possibility. It might rain today. It might rain today. The second is hesitant offer. Might I help you? Might I help you? Perfect. And the fifth one is very strong one. It's must. Must. When do we use must? We use must at first to express force and necessity. I must go to the supermarket today. I must go to the supermarket today. I have to go there. I have to do this. The second one is possibility. You must be tired. You must be tired. It's a possibility. Possibly you are tired, so you need to have a rest. And the last one is advice or recommendation. For example, you must see the new film with Brad Pitt. You must see the new film with Brad Pitt. Great. And now let's talk a little bit about um, negative modal verbs. About modal verbs with negative meaning. And the first one that I wanted to talk with you about is must not or may not. Must not, may not. When do we use them? We use them to express prohibition. You mustn't work on that computer. You mustn't work on dad's computer. Don't do this. Or you may not work on dad's computer. The next uh, mode of work with negative meaning is need not. Need not. When do we use it? Uh, we use it to express that something is not necessary. For example, I needn't go to the supermarket. We are going to the restaurant tonight. So, let's forget about 
plural verbs with negative meaning for a short time, okay? But not forever. And let's proceed to all other modal verbs. But to, it is used to express advice. You ought to drive carefully in a bad weather. You ought to drive carefully in a bad weather. Okay? Then, it is used to express obligation. For example, you ought to switch off the light when you leave the room. Do you do this? I wonder. I know that many people don't follow this rule. You ought to switch off the light when you leave the room. Great. Hope we will remember this. Well, the next one is shall. When we use shall, we use shall to express suggestion. For example, shall I carry your bag? Shall I carry your bag? Should. When we use should, we use should to express advice. Advice. Okay, for example, you should drive carefully in bad weather. You should drive carefully in bad weather. We advise someone to be careful. We are worrying about somebody, right? Right. Obligation. You should switch off the light when you leave the room. You should switch off the light when you leave the room. Will. Will. When do we use modal verb will? We use will to express wish, request, demand, order. And it is less polite than would. For example, will you please shut the door? Will you please shut the door? Prediction, assumption. I think it will rain on Friday. I think it will rain on Friday. Then, promise. I will stop smoking. I will stop smoking. Guys, do it. If you're still smoking, stop it right now. Okay. Spontaneous decision. Can somebody drive me to the station? I will. Can somebody drive me to the station? I will. And the last one is habits. She's strange. She'll sit for hours without talking. She's strange. She'll sit for hours without talking. And guys, here we go at least. And the last one is wood. Wood. When do we use wood? We use wood to express wish, request. And it is more polite than will. For example, would you shut the door please it sounds like this would you shut the door please it is more polite than if we use will okay then we use would to express habits in the past for example sometimes he would bring me some flowers Sometimes he would bring me some flowers. Hmm, would in the past, but why not in the present? Bring flowers to your girls every day. Just one little flower will make you smile. So guys, happy to tell you that the lesson is over for today. Don't forget to put the thumb up, to subscribe and to share this video. See you later and bye for now. Bye-bye.